friends. This is an exciting night. I am introducing a new series, a new playlist. It's something I've been doing for a while. I just never really knew what to call it. And I've decided to give it a name. Welcome to Circuit Underground. I've always had a great interest in smaller builders because the next Bill Finnegan, the next Jamie Stillman, the next Debbie Ever, the next Joel Cordy, the next Nick Greer, they're out there. And if they're out there, I want to know who they are. So I have always opened up this channel to builders who are building in their garages or their basements or even apartments. And I have found some really, really cool builders. And I wanted to give them a special place. So you know, as a viewer, that if you go into Circuit Underground, you're probably going to be looking at builders that you may not have heard of before. Uh, it, also, if you're one of those who's like, you know what? If it's not Walrus, it didn't happen. Then you know not to look at this. And to start out Circuit Underground, we are going to go with the Golden Axe from Birch Audio. This is about as boutique as boutique gets. I'm serious. This dude is from Madison, Wisconsin. He sent me a message on Instagram. His profile picture was Worf from Star Trek The Next Generation. I was like, I just imagined him grunting out the message. Um, so this is supposed to be loosely based off of the OCD. I, oh man, I don't know if I hear it, but you know, this pedal is absolutely stunning. Like it blew my mind. I it, it sat here for a couple of weeks and I plugged it in when it was its turn and like just completely blew me away. This bias knob on here is freaking amazing. It does amazing things. This is a cool pedal, so let's go. All right, I am running a Gibson ES339 Custom Shop into a Dr. Z Carmen Gia. Let's take a look at these controls. We have a bias knob. We have a tone control. We have a gain knob, and we have volume. And then there's a high and low toggle switch. So let's just start with everything at noon. See what it does. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to adjust that bias knob. Um, basically, it either starves or overfeeds the preamp gain bias voltage. You can get a really cool gate from it. You can get it to be super noisy. It is, in my opinion, what makes this pedal really special. So let's go. <laughs> So now that we got the bias knob figured out, let's just turn some other knobs and just keep riffing. Mm -hmm. 